It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for Friday, the 1st of September. I'm Michael Groff. Today is the first day of meteorological fall. And yesterday, we closed out the month of August on a very warm note, a high of 108 degrees, and that capped off the 20th warmest and the 28th wettest August on record here in the Valley, according to the National Weather Service. Today, very similar to yesterday, hot temperatures continuing, but as we go through the weekend, temps trending down, humidity levels coming up, and slight chances of showers and thunderstorms coming back into the forecast. So let's get out there and talk about it this morning at 5 a.m., Clear skies in the valley right now, 88 degrees at Sky Harbor, dew points at 47, humidity 24%. The wind from the east at 11 miles per hour, and the barometer is steady. Temperatures around the area this morning, 73 at Fort McDowell, 74 Maricopa. A few upper 70s in some of the cooler pockets like Litchfield Park, Glendale, East Mesa, Apache Junction, Gilbert. But most of us here in the urban core are in the mid and upper 80s. Here's the water vapor satellite view. South of us, you see... a Spinning massive clouds there. That is Tropical Storm Lydia down over the southern tip of Baja. The remnants of Harvey are now across Tennessee, moving into Kentucky. And uh, we are still under the influence of ridging off the west coast. Speaking of that, that's why we have excessive heat watches, warnings, and advisories up and down the west coast today. No advisories for us at this time. Our air quality alert has been lifted. There is an air quality alert for the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Some fire danger issues across the Intermountain West. Obviously, flood watches and a few flash flood warnings uh, across parts of the southeastern U.S. Moving up toward the Ohio Valley in association with the remnants of Harvey and a cold front that is interacting with the storm as well. On the convective outlook... Slight risk of severe storms over the Carolinas with a marginal risk for the adjacent states. A marginal risk as well for places like Grand Forks, Crookston, Minnesota, Fargo. And here is the latest on our new tropical system out in the Atlantic. This is Irma, now already a Category 3 hurricane. Maximum sustained winds 115 miles per hour. The National Hurricane Center official forecast track continues moving it to the west. Eventually kind of a southwesterly curve for a brief period there and by early next week it'll be somewhere just east of the windward islands so that's going to be a concern where is this thing headed well according to the gfs ensemble see the ensemble mean sort of the black squares there most of the members curve this thing before it hits the united states east coast and that is the prevailing thinking right now hopefully that continues but of course it's very early in the game and a lot can change with these kinds of systems but we don't need another tropical system affecting us anytime soon. Speaking of tropical systems, we have one of our own to talk about, and we'll do that now as we get out to the models and see what's going on. Here's the GFS. It's the 06Z run, valid at 5 o'clock Mountain Standard Time today. The big players on the board, high pressure to the north of the state, tropical storm Lydia south of us, and moisture will be on the increase across northwest Mexico today. But for us, a sunny sky, dry conditions, low humidity, still toasty too. High temperatures 104 to 108. Tonight, clear skies in the evening, becoming partly cloudy overnight, lows in the low 80s to low 90s. Tomorrow, that high pressure north of us helps to deflect the circulation center of Lydia to the west and northwest. Still, some of that tropical moisture should move into southern Arizona, so we're going to see temperatures coming down just a bit, clouds on the increase, humidity on the increase, and we'll even introduce a slight chance of late afternoon and evening showers and thunderstorms tomorrow. But there's really nothing to act on that increase in moisture, there's no real trigger mechanism in the atmosphere. So at best, all we could hope for is maybe some low top storms with some gusty winds and nothing really significant to talk about here. Maybe some blowing dust tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening. High temperatures falling back into the 101 to 105 range. Sunday, same thing. Some increase in humidity, slight chance of late afternoon and evening showers and thunderstorms. Better chances over the higher terrain, but even at that, storms will only be widely scattered in nature. Highs 101 to 105. Labor Day, I think we'll have a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms here in the valley, but at best, that's a 10% chance. And only isolated storms in the mountains as well. Afternoon highs still in the 101 to 105 range. On Tuesday, the GFS is showing an upswing in shower and thunderstorm activity, and I'm not quite ready to buy into it just yet, although it has been consistently advertised. Uh, many of the GFS ensemble members are just kind of all over the place here for early next week. So forecast confidence not real high, but I do think some increase in storms, especially over the mountains, is possible. Some disturbances rotating around this ridge and 
So we'll say a 20% chance of storms here in the valley for Tuesday, highs 101 to 105. Same thing on Wednesday, might bump temperatures up a degree or two, 102 to 106, with a continued slight chance of late afternoon and evening showers and storms. By next Thursday, high pressure continues to sit to our north, although indications are that troughing beginning, is beginning to develop along the west coast, and as a result, the ridge being nudged to the east slightly. Shower and thunderstorm activity still over the mountains. An isolated storm can't be ruled out here in the deserts. Here we go out to a week from today. This is Friday, the 8th of September, troughing along the west coast, ridging still here in the southwest. A southerly component to the wind, so still some moisture around for a slight chance of late afternoon and evening showers and storms. But keep in mind, these chances are very small for us each afternoon and evening. High temperatures still right about normal, maybe a, a couple of degrees above. We'll say 101 to 105. Here is Saturday, the 9th of September, Pacific short wave passing through the west. And that may turn our winds more south-southwesterly. But as this system transitions through here, might see an increase in showers and storms. This is way out there, though. Here's the end of the forecast period, Sunday, the 10th of September. And again, looks like um, some decrease in moisture and Shower and thunderstorm activity would probably start to get minimized a bit as some drier air comes in. But look what happens on the East Coast or just off the East Coast. There's Hurricane Irma, but the GFS is curving the system away from the United States. Majority of models now do favor the system gaining latitude and missing the United States. So hopefully that trend will continue. All right, let's look at uh, the temperatures coming off of the European Ensemble. Highs a little bit cooler tomorrow and Sunday with the added moisture, but then the European brings us close to 110 by the early part of next week. Not quite sure it gets that hot, but certainly the European is drier than the GFS, so that is possible. And the Euro keeps us above normal all the way out into mid-September. And that's going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video back here tomorrow morning. Thanks as always so much for watching. Really do appreciate it. If you like our videos, be sure to subscribe to us so that whenever we post a brand new one, you'll get the notifications. Otherwise, be safe. Be very careful out there. Holiday weekend. Don't drink and drive. Watch out on the roadways and have a great Labor Day weekend.